Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now, the first tip is to, if you're able to launch the launcher, then try window mode and run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, launch the launcher and then go to launcher settings. Now try window mode and you can make sure that the game is running on dedicated graphic card. And then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall anti-cheat installer now you can do it from the launcher so launch the launcher if the launcher is launching go to settings and then go to other option over here you can see uninstall denovo anti-cheat click on it click on yes to allow and once this is done now you can install the anti-cheat once again and then you can launch the game and then check. Now you can also go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files, and then open this folder, and then open anti-cheat installer, make a double click, click on yes to allow, uninstall it, exit, and then again make a double click, click on yes to allow, and then click on install, accept, and now you can launch the game and then check still not working again make a double click click on yes to allow and then uninstall it exit and then launch the game click on play and then click on yes click on yes to allow and then click on install click on accept exit and then you can check now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files so when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can open file explorer on your computer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open local folder open sniper elite resistance folder or you can simply just create a backup first so make a right click and then copy this folder and then you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can make a right click and then you can click on rename and then you can rename it dot old rename it and then launch the game you can even make a right click and delete it and then launch the game and then check but you will lose all the game progress you have, you have to start everything from scratch now still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then again go to properties and this time you can try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open the bin folder and over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to 
allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then open this bin folder select this exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then go back and then open the launcher folder select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then open the game folder and then open bin folder select this exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and then go back and then open launcher select this exe file click on open click on add in my case both are already added once added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings and then go to graphics settings and then click on browse over here uh, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder bin folder select this exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list once you find the game now click on this down arrow for gp performance over here select uh, select high performance high performance and you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows setting go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here and then restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 scroll down and then download this x86 and x64 so click on this file and run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well run this exe file now if you see the repair click on repair click on yes to allow and then let both the installation complete once installed you can close this and then restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any extra controller connected any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer any extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any other application or services running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties 
turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have geforce or nvidia app running turn off overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running revert unit running or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website and then update the bios restart your computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel